For deeper analysis on the debate now, Leo Law Professor Jessica Levinson joins us this morning. Jessica, thanks so much for being with us. Absolutely. Okay, so usually here, vice presidential debates rarely matter. This is different, though. Can you explain why people will be paying attention to this one? I want to echo what Gerald said. I thought he was so right in the intro to what his segment, which is usually it doesn't matter. This is not a typical election. I do want to say I still think people do not vote for the vice president. And so when we're talking about the stakes, they're very different tonight than a few weeks ago when it was Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. And let's just acknowledge people vote for the top of the ticket. Having said that, Anybody who has looked at a swing state poll knows that this is going to be very likely an excruciatingly close election. So to the extent that anything moves the needle, it matters. It also matters that you see in those polls that we all just saw up on the screen, a lot of people don't really know a lot about these people, and they want to hear about the issues that matter to them, not attacks of the opponent. And so that will be key tonight. Which person can say, I understand who you are, I understand your daily life, and here's how I'm going to make it better. And this debate also, Jessica, can be a test to see if and how voters see these VP candidates as president. I mean, we just saw what happened with uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, and now she is uh, the nominee. Well, that's right. So I don't think that this race will be, or excuse me, this debate will be as big, obviously, as the first debate, maybe the most important debate in American history, where you have Joe Biden and Donald Trump, and it ultimately leads to Joe Biden stepping out of the race. For tonight, I think that what we need to look for for these two candidates who are not as well known is to see, do they support the top of the ticket? Do they support people's positive and negative views of the top of the ticket? Is there anything they can do to give those swing voters who don't know how they're going to vote warm and fuzzy feelings for the person who they are running with? Well, and I, obviously, I think that will be the biggest thing here. Yeah, you know, I just to echo that, you know, I think it's, it's one of those things. How are they going to balance introducing themselves to voters, as you just talked about, and also keeping the focus? They are going to have to attack the opposite top of the ticket, right? They, they will be doing that. I've heard this called uh, the coach versus the ex-pundit. But, but how do you kind of navigate those two scenarios? Well, I think obviously they're both going to have sharp elbows. They're both going to try and land some punches, but they're going to try and do it within the paradigm of saying, I'm only attacking to show what would happen if you elect my opponent and who he's running with. And so it's going to have to all be, I'm not just attacking for attack's sake. I'm attacking to show you that we have a better plan for you. For Coach Walls, as he's known uh, familiar, familiarly by Kamala Harris, I think he will say what we've heard him say in Minnesota before, which is, I live the life that you live. I didn't go to Yale like J.D. Vance. I don't live an elite life. And so I understand, to use a phrase from Bill Clinton, I feel your pain. For J.D. Vance, we know he's a skilled debater, a skilled orator. And for him, I think we will see more attacks, maybe more sharp elbows, and will give a contrasting view of why he thinks Donald Trump will be better for America. And what else are you going to be watching for tonight? I think what we're going to be watching for, I mean, it's inescapable at this point. We're watching for that moment that could go viral. Mm. I don't think that's a great thing when it comes to how do we elect the person who's a heartbeat away from the presidency. But we're all looking for, oh, my gosh, did you just land a huge punch or did somebody just make a huge mistake? It's an honest answer. It's not the one I would wish to give. I'd wish to give the answer that says, I'm looking for somebody who gives a really detailed policy plan. <laughs> but I think where we are Isn't in that this the world we live cycle, in, right? Yeah. We're looking for that quick viral moment. Oh. All right. Jessica Levinson, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll, uh, can't wait to hear your reaction <laughs> afterwards as well. And you can watch our live coverage of the vice presidential debate tonight at 6 on CBS, CBS News 24-7, and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.